Ferenc Buskas and Sander Coxis, two among the best football players ever. But they are just remembered and known by few people and never taken into consideration when discussing the best players to take part in the beautiful game. Hungarians, strikers, protagonists of the 50s and the 60s. It was a different kind of game, but numbers and their histories will reveal many astonishing records and facts about the two players. Let's start with Puskas, the most known among the two. In Hungary, he's a national hero. But FIFA have had to name an award after him to preserve his legacy and his memory alive among football fans. The Puskas Award is indeed the prize given for the most beautiful goal scored during the year. As we heard in the last podcast, Puskas starts his career for Honbert at a very young age of 16. From 1946, he started scoring regularly. First netting 35 league goals, then 32, 50 and finally 46 in 1949, where Honved won the league. Practically in the late 1940s, he scored 96 goals in 60 games. He became Hungarian champion four more times until 1955, scoring a grand total of 378 goals in 369 games with the team, becoming the league top scorer in 1948, 1949-50, 1949-50, and 1953. At the same time, the star of Sander Coxis was rising. Top scorer in 1951, 1952, and 1954. Practically in seven years, it's only them two who won. A dualism recalling Messi and Ronaldo. Coxis made his debut for Ferenc Varus, scoring 70 goals in 84 games before turning 21. Then he also moved to Honved to play alongside Puskas. With the Hungarians, he will score 217 goals in 176 games. Maybe the level of the league wasn't incredible, and the power of the team was truly overwhelming. But you still have to put the ball into the net. In fact, the value of those players can be seen in the national team, where they face a very high standard. Hungary is absolutely dominant losing only one game out of 50 in six years, albeit that being the World Cup final. Coxes scored 75 times in 68 games, while Puskas scored 85 times in 84 games. After the Soviet invasion of Hungary in 1956, Both Puskas and Coxis, aged 29 and 27 respectively, leave the national team as they choose not to return to their country. This is one of the reasons why they're not properly remembered. With a full career, the numbers would be even more sensational, and at that point, there would be no doubt about the value of these two players. Coxis spends practically two years without the team, then he chooses Barcelona. The first season he scored 15 goals in 10 games, then he got another 67 in 116 games, including 21 out of 29 in European Cups. He is still now the 10th Barcelona player by number of goals scored in Europe, alongside Neymar, 60 years later. Coxes was very good with headers, and in total in his career he won 6 league titles, 2 Spanish Cups and a third Cup. He was the top scorer in Europe in 1952 and 1954, also setting numerous international records. Coxis scored 11 goals at the World Cup in 1954, the only one in which he took part. That is the second highest figure in a single World Cup, as well as the second highest average of goals per game at the World Cup, with 2.2, just behind a player who scored 4 goals in his only game, basically a passenger. Coxis is the player who has the best goals per game ratio internationally, with 1.103 goals per game, ahead of a certain Judd Müller with 1.097 and Puskas with 0.99. In the national team he scored 7 hat-tricks and, as mentioned, 75 goals in 68 games. He was also nominated for the Ballon d'Or Dream Team, but for a striker who has these numbers, 
It almost seems like a lack of respect not to be considered among the best in history. I wonder if he could not be Miroslav Klose's place had he had the opportunity to play more World Cups. Pushkas, on the other hand, is suspended from UEFA for two years. Then he goes to Real Madrid, challenging Coxis as a direct rival. His numbers remain impressive. In 1960, he scored 47 goals in 36 games, then 44 in 41, and finally 40 in 40 in 1962. In total, he will net 242 goals in 262 games in Madrid, including 37 in 41 games in European competitions. He is still the sixth best scorer of the Blancos, and only Cristiano Ronaldo has a higher average goal. Puskas wins five Spanish leagues after the previous two had gone to Coxis Barcelona. In addition, the Hungarian will be the protagonist of three European Cups won by Real Madrid in which he will set numerous records. Other than being the top scorer in La Liga four times and twice in the European Cup, in 1960 Pushka scored four goals in the final, in that which is still the victory with the most goals ever in the Champions League final, by 7-3 for Real Madrid against Eintracht Frankfurt. He will also score three goals in the 1962 final, but Benfica triumphed 5-3. Puskas is the oldest scorer in Real Madrid history and holds the team record for the most goals scored in a single match with six and even in a single Copa del Rey season. Let's remember that a certain Cristiano Ronaldo played in Real Madrid for nine years. Puskas scored 808 goals in 794 official games according to the RSSSF source. Unlike Coxis, Puskas is known to many people but many just know that he was good, when in reality, he was so much more. Perhaps, if Hungary had won the infamous World Cup, and if there had been no Soviet invasion, instead of a Pele and a Maradona, we would have a Sander Coxis and a Ferenc Puskas.